You know, it's a busy month for tourism as families are getting out and exploring, and a great resource for exploring is right in our own backyard at the Southwest Virginia Cultural Center and Marketplace. And here with more on the happenings there is Chad Thompson with Friends of Southwest Virginia. Good morning, Chad. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. It seems like y'all have got a lot on your plate going on over there at, at uh, the Cultural Center right now. And let's start talking about it because y'all recently just got a grant and have put together a new documentary that you can catch a trailer for on YouTube right now. That's correct. So we, what we're doing is creating this documentary. It's called From Our Front Porch to Your Back Porch. And essentially what we're doing is telling the story of Southwest Virginia's music and art heritage. So we've been speaking to lots of musicians and, and venue operators throughout the region, as well as our artisans and some historians to learn how art and music got started in the region, where the original settlers came from, and how they settled throughout the region to tell that story of how we got to where we are today. So it's really an in-depth dive into the Crooked Road and the Round the Mountain Artisan Network. Now, are just the previews on YouTube right now, or where can folks access, or is it getting ready to debut? Yeah, so uh, the, the full plan is to come out over the next couple of months, so throughout this month in July. But there are two videos on there you can watch right now, one with Dylan Locke from the Floyd Country Store in Floyd, Virginia, and also with Ralph Stanley too at the Ralph Stanley Museum in Clintwood. So those are a couple little pieces and segments that's going to be in the final presentation if you want to get an idea of some of the history between those two venues. All right. And speaking of music, starting next month in July, y'all are bringing the jams back there. And I'm not talking about the jams that come in a mason jar. I'm talking about some great music. That's right. So we've been working with the Crooked Road and trying to figure out how we can get events coming back to the Cultural Center. So we're looking for possibly around July to restart the Crooked Road jams, which are taking place on Thursday nights. So if anybody that used to come out to those are familiar with them, we're very happy to get those up and going again. So if you just want to keep up to date with the Crooked Road's Facebook page or the Southwest Virginia Cultural Center page, uh, we'll have all that information there once it comes out. All right, that sounds great. And you know, June is Outdoor Adventure Month. It's time to get out in the great outdoors in June. And y'all have some great opportunities for outdoor adventures all over Southwest Virginia. That's right. So we wanted to really kickstart uh, the beginning of summer and, and just get everybody outside and moving around and seeing these beautiful assets as well as you know, traveling through these small towns and, and staying at these wonderful destinations. So what we're doing is all month long on our social media outlets on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube is showcasing some of the natural beauty that you could expect to see if you were to come and visit Southwest Virginia. Uh, talk to us about some of those locations that you're highlighting there. Oh gosh, there's so many across the region. And if, for those of you that don't know, we have 19 counties, 53 towns, and four cities that we actually oversee here in Southwest Virginia. I know a few of my favorites are, of course, Grayson Highland State Park, yes. right outside of Smith County. Uh, you have Giles County has some beautiful places. I've actually spent a lot of time in Franklin County and Floyd myself over the past month or so. So really, anywhere you want to go in Southwest Virginia is not a bad idea because there's something beautiful for you around every turn. And I have a friend who's right now walking to AT, and he just went through Grayson Highlands and was showing some of the wild ponies up there and some of the beautiful scenery. That really is a beautiful park up there. It is. We're very grateful to you know, have something like the Appalachian Trail that comes through here. I know uh, a lot of people say that when they're hiking the trail, the Grayson Highlands area is one of their favorite parts of the AT just because the views are so stunning. I mean, you can really see for miles, and, of course, those wild ponies definitely are just icing on the cake. All right. Chad, we appreciate you taking some time with us today. A lot to talk about, a lot of ground to cover there in southwest Virginia. That's right. Thank you all so much for having me and, and hope to see everybody out in the region here soon. Absolutely. we got some information for you right here on the screen. The Southwest Virginia Cultural Center there at Hartwood Circle in Abingdon. If you want some information, give them a call. Check out their website. A lot of great information there about getting out on your next adventure in southwest Virginia.